Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tuesday CT. Today we are going to talk about something really important to know for the ACT English test, and that is the topic of conjunctions. Now, you may be thinking, I got no conjunctions for and or yet, but so that's all I need to know, right? Wrong. There are two types of conjunctions, and the ACT tests them in a really specific way. So we're going to talk about that a little bit more advanced conjunction training here, but we'll start with the basics. We're going to talk about two different types of conjunctions. There are coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. Now, those may just be terms that you remember your English teacher wrote on the board and you don't think about what they actually mean, but it's actually really important because coordinating conjunctions, and again, you don't really need to know these terms for the test, but they help you make sense of how they're used. Coordinating conjunctions are they're like matchmakers. They coordinate things and people or outfits sometimes. Like Jamie paired her black dress with her white shoes, which would probably look funny, but nevertheless, you get the idea. So these are the fanboys. They are for and nor but or yet so. So you're probably used to seeing these for fixing compound sentences or linking compound sentences using with a comma. They don't have to link compound sentences. It could just be something like, I like pizza and ice cream, or I like pizza, but not ice cream. It shows the relationship between the two elements, how they go together or how they coordinate. All right, the tougher type of conjunction is the subordinating conjunction. So the coordinating conjunction coordinates, puts things together. Subordinating conjunction subordinates one phrase or thing to the other thing. That's why it's called a subordinating conjunction. So if you have a main clause like, I am doing extra credit in English class, you might have another phrase that you want to link with that that tells you more information. Like, because my teacher said that I could get an A if I do extra credit. So we have that main clause, I'm doing extra credit in English class because my teacher said I could get an A. So that because is a subordinating conjunction, and there are a million subordinating conjunctions. So these are just a few examples. There's tons of them. You don't need to memorize the list. It's not like the fanboys where there's only seven to know, but something like after, if, because, when, while, before. So these conjunctions show how parts of the sentence relate, but you have a main clause and then you have a subordinate clause that is giving more information on that main clause and helps you make sense of the relationship between them. So how the ACT tests this, sometimes they are going to be testing you on which conjunction you should use. And when they do this, it's about the logic. So I call this the logic of conjunctions. So here is an example sentence. And let's pretend we're picking between these two words. The first few months have been dry because or although forecasters predicted a rainy year. In this case, you need to know how the parts of the sentence relate. So we have our main clause, the first few months have been dry. How does this subordinate clause relate to that main one? Well, if we said because, that wouldn't make a lot of sense because why would they have been dry if forecasters predicted a rainy year? So we need a conjunction that says it's actually the opposite of what was expected. The first few months have been dry, although forecasters predicted a rainy year. So that clarifies the relationship between these two things. You'll see transition questions on the test that are pretty similar to this, but you will see a lot that have to do with conjunctions. So coordinating conjunctions match things together, subordinating conjunctions take a main clause and have a, have a subordinate clause that then gives more information, but you need to figure out the relationship between those two parts, and that's where choosing the correct conjunction comes in. So that is probably enough about conjunctions for right now. If you want more tips for the ACT English test or any section of the test, you can go to act.magoosh.com, and I will see you here next Tuesday, CT.